All right. Let's take a look at this. And I'm not going to have that many notes. It's actually looking very cool. Lots of little picky things. There's only just one bigger thing on this walk. And then this one. Just tiny things. It's very neat. <laughs> cool presentation. i a big fan of this here. Long walk. And then all the different views here. So my biggest thing for this one is that the arcs of the character's hands, if you look at it from the top, it seems like they go this way and then come back this way, as opposed to going this way, finishing that arc, coming back, finishing that arc for, in, for kind of a figure eight type of thing. So you, it, this feels a bit too much like it just goes into a pose and then comes back, but goes back through the same path there. I think that would be something to tweak. Um, picky notes, they're a bit all curled the same way. Um, you can have, you know, your index and then you got your ring finger, uh, your middle finger, uh, ring finger and pinky. I'm exaggerating, but you know, it's kind of a fanning of finger poses there and potentially bring out that thumb a tiny bit more, probably, maybe just a bit, a bit flat there, but that's a picky thing. Mostly just those fingers. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, did not make it without a cough, which is a bummer. Um, they just feel like it's um, like a shovel, kind of a cup there. Other than that, cool stuff in the steps. Big fan that you have that uh, turn over this way. So it's not coming in flat. You got arcs in your legs, which is cool. I don't see super jittery knees. There's a little bit of up and down through there but I don't think that's too bad you got your hips let me see here on your passing that's pretty cool I think you could potentially uh, exaggerate that twist there just a tad to get ever so slightly a bit of a bigger twist through there and I'm talking very subtle it's already very cool I think you could push the hips more especially if I look at this line here it seems all pretty flat so just a bit more impact it seems you know it seems like just like that line there it seems like it's going this way but it might just be the rotation from from the Y channel there so I will push the hips a bit more you can do a bit more asymmetry in the shoulders so just overall there's a bit more uh, you know, a uh, left side, right side droop. Just a bit of a difference. This is super picky, but you could... If I would push the hips, right? And then, therefore, you push everything a bit more in here in terms of uh, the curvature. That meant nothing, by the way. <laughs> That's a stupid scribble. It's mostly this, right? Um, where you could center the head a bit more, meaning it feels like the head is doing a lot in Y. Not that it, not that it's parented to the chest, but I would stabilize that just a bit more that it looks forward in a more constant way. Um, just a little bit. I think it's not too bad, but again, super, super subtle. The biggest thing to me would be, again, the arcs, the cupping, and especially the hips. He has a bit of a lean backwards, but it gives him kind of an interesting attitude to it. It's not like he's off balance. I think you can keep it. It's borderline there, but good, good up and down there. It seems like your feet are traveling back pretty well. There's no sliding, as we can see through this guy. My only thing on this is that that's a pretty here, pretty big move and then really really small giving this a bit of a pop and then pop and hold and to me it seems like whoa I would go out a bit smoother from here to here so it's kind of a smooth out and then go forward to where you have it and it seems like it pops pops and holds just a tad and you got good offsets on the hands on the arms so step and arms are still swinging. <clears throat> it's good offset. I think that's about it. Good stuff there. And then on your sneak, <clears throat> the sneak felt just very jittery. I know he's very, very fast. So the couple things where I would try to stabilize it through here, 
where the head is not so poppy. You'd have to counter a bit more. I know he's very, very fast, but there's something that's felt a bit... You'd have such a headache. So there's something where you would feel it in here and it would, it would fan out there. Meaning that you would have a lot of jitter and then less, 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 and less, and a bit more stabilized there. <clears throat> For this view, I would bring one arm down, so you have one hand, one hand here. Just a bit of a nicer uh, silhouette. And you know, one could be further out than the other here, again for some asymmetry. Uh, and just for... This is super fast and, and super picky, but if... On this pose, I would bring out that foot further out. And on this one as well. Just because watching this here in real time, there's just always so much overlap. And it would be nice to be in general a bit more like this. This might not be technically correct in terms of spacing, but I think visually just to give this a separation so you have a cleaner silhouette so that this in real time feels a bit more separated. I see just a lot of this in real time where it's you have those aligned legs here. You know, this flows straight into this. and This is kind of one piece where I think we could separate that a bit more. Yeah, stabilizing that. You could try same thing here to push those hips a bit more. Just this line, just a bit. Because I see a lot of it in Y. It's good stuff in there, but you know, push that a bit more. And it feels like for that, for that, you could also try to go up a bit more on your on your shoulders. So going up front, which is nice, but I feel like you could just potentially a bit higher. Probably not too much. You don't want to put the the shoulder over here over that head for again for the silhouette but it feels like at least one again one you can bring up higher just for asymmetry and that's about it although this is a picky thing looking at this what if you take that head and you bring it forward imagine he's leaning forward that he, technically his eyes would still look straight up like his eyes would be looking up a bit more just looking at this how it's more your vanilla walk straight head and this is also pretty straight but there's something about him leaning forward where I will bring in that head a bit more forward and almost looking down just a bit more just a tad it's more the if you can translate for like a neck out type of thing and just a little bit more head down rotation but it's mostly a, a forward translate to get that <clears throat> the kind of that forward look <laughs> trying to sneak And then maybe see how the orientation of that foot is like this and then the next one exactly the same so this foot could be like that or a bit like this I won't go lower it, start, it would start to kind of flow too much into one one straight line here I'm only saying this just because of again it's kind of the strobing effect where I see a lot of lines like this but the next one is kind of the same and if we would offset one foot just a bit more you can droop the toes a bit more if you want that might give us a bit less of this strobing effect through there Alrighty, that is it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.